Bali Airport forecasts welcoming over 4.2 million passengers. In the last week of June, Bali's Ngira Rai International Airport reached another passenger milestone. Airport officials have released passenger data for the first six months of 2022, and as expected, numbers are significantly higher than in 2020 and 2021. During the month of June, Bali Airport received 1,110,723 passengers through both the domestic and international terminals. According to year-to-date figures, Bali Airport has served a total of 4,297,277 passengers across terminals. Authorities released a breakdown of the figures, confirming that Bali will meet Tourism Minister Sandiga Salahuddin Nuno's visitor targets by the end of the year. During his weekly press conference on June 20, 2022, Minister Uno told the press that he has set ambitious but attainable targets for tourism numbers for the rest of the year. He has set a goal of welcoming 1.5 million international visitors to Bali by the end of the year, along with 7 million domestic visitors. According to the Bali Tribune News, Bali Airport's corporate goal is to serve over 9 million passengers by 2022. Bali Airport received 745,528 passengers and 365,465 international arrivals in June. These passengers arrived in Bali via 5,105 flights serving Indonesian routes and 1,924 international flights. The airport handled 37,000 passengers per day on average, with two-thirds of them being domestic travelers. The average number of flights per day was 234 flights. During a press conference, Handy Hiryudhitiawan, General Manager of Igustin Girarai International Airport, explained the figures to reporters. When compared to this time last year, there is an increase of up to 157%, he said. According to Hiryudhitiawan, the return of major international airlines and the resumption of significant international routes to Bali have played a significant role in the dramatic increase in arrivals. During June, there were five additional international schedules, resumed, to Dili, Hanoi, Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne by Batik Air Malaysia, Vietjet Air, CityLink, and Virgin Australia. In July, so far, there are additional international routes to the Philippines by Philippine Airlines and South Korea by Korean Air Hiryudhitiawan reported to the press. Bali Airport now serves 21 domestic routes and 19 international routes to 11 different countries, making it easier for tourists to visit Bali. This increase in international airlines and routes should allay the fears of Indonesia's Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economies, which has recently stated that their data indicates that demand for flights has outweighed supply. In his weekly briefings, Minister Uno has stated that ample flight availability for international tourists is the cornerstone of Bali's tourism recovery. Hiryudhitiawan concluded his announcement with a request for continued efforts to support COVID-19 control. We welcome the increase in passenger traffic in the first half of 2022. For this, we ask for service users and all stakeholders help in maintaining health protocols in the airport environment for everyone's security and safety. In light of a recent surge in cases, the Indonesian central government and the National COVID-19 Task Force announced this week that travel restrictions will be changed. The Java Bali COVID-19 Restrictions Coordinator, Luat Bean Sarpan Jaitan, announced on Tuesday that travelers will be required to show proof of a booster vaccination upon entry to the country in a maximum of two weeks. Though no specific date has been set, authorities are expected to make an announcement about the implementation of these new changes in the coming days. The government will also re-implement the requirement for booster vaccination as a condition for travel by air, land, and sea, which will be completed in a maximum of two weeks, Panjaitan said.
such as malls and offices will be converted to booster vaccination to encourage booster vaccination and support travel requirements and entry into public places. Bali residents are encouraged to get their booster vaccine, and countries such as Australia, where the majority of Bali's international tourists come from, are also increasing the availability of booster vaccine.